All right, this is Michael Cioni. We're here at the Panavision booth at BC Expo, and what we've got here is the Panavision DXL2. So this came out uh, at BSC Expo last year, so this is one year old today. I just realized that. Um, and the DXL2 is a super cinema camera. It has a 54 mil, uh, sorry, a 46 millimeter sensor. So it's a really big sensor, and that means it takes large format lenses. So the the lenses that we're using now are super high quality Panavision lenses and they're built for either 65 millimeter film or for the DXL and large format cameras. This particular camera is really unique in that it's a partnership with RED. So RED makes the sensor and they make some of the hardware for us in the computer and then Panavision does the accessories and then Light Iron does the color correction. So together it's the only camera that has a menu on both sides, so you can control it from both sides. It has a proxy workflow, so you can shoot 8K and HD at the same time. So you can edit with the HD and then go back to the 8K for the very final finish and polish. It's the only camera that has wireless motorized lenses, so I can control the lens wirelessly. And so if I move this lens, it'll go back to where it's set here, so this is very, very powerful, easy to use, very clean, no cables, no mess, nothing like that. Uh, it's a camera, we have a wireless audio transmitter, so when the director has audio being fed to them, the camera also has audio being fed to it, so it can actually hear and get sound without any other boxes, so it's automatically getting sound, and that goes to that HD proxy file that you can edit with, so you get that in it. The camera does up to 60 frames per second in 8K. And if you go down to like 4K, you can do 120 frames per second. And if you go to 2K, you can do 240 frames per second. The camera is totally customizable, so I can make my own menus. I can choose anything that I want to be a menu, which is really fun and clean and easy to make my own custom menus. And the camera also has um, one of the best viewfinders in the world. So the viewfinder is a high dynamic range viewfinder. So it's 600 nits, 600% 600 brightness, which is really cool. And then it also has five video outputs and two of them are 4K. So this monitor here, if we look at this, oh, I made it too dark. This monitor here is a 4K monitor. So you can actually get 4K signals sent to a monitor if you want super high precision, super high quality. Uh, it's really, really, really handy to do that. It also has wireless color correction. So if I look at the monitor, I could go through on a computer, I could apply a totally different look. It would apply that to the camera. You could do that wirelessly or with a cable and you can set your own looks with a computer and feed that to the camera. So you have kind of a lot of custom looks inside of that. Uh, this camera has wireless time code, so when you're syncing sound, you don't have to worry about cables or jamming everything together. It's just a wireless time code signal. That comes from the company Ambient. They make the wireless time code transmitter. And then we have the receiver here so that you can have automatic time code fed. Um, and then we have the most power. You know, a lot of crews want to connect different things to the camera. So we have all this extra power so that you have tons of places to connect things and everything is brackets. There's brackets everywhere. You can kind of see the top is all just a bunch of brackets. So there's places to connect everything, uh, which makes it really, really uh, important. So that's kind of, um, you know, and it's really just about making a good looking picture. You know, we, we try to produce a really good cinematic picture. The color in here, which comes from the company Light Iron, is a color system uh, kind of inspired by film. So it has a film look to it, a very, very unique film look to it that makes it very pretty. So all those things uh, make it really great. We have a lot of partners that make this possible. And uh, so uh, BSC Expo is just a great place for us to do that. So can you also import the LUT in a camera? Can it put a LUT in? Yeah, you can make your own LUTs, yeah, yeah. So if you made your own, I can show you, if you look at the monitor, um, uh, so if I went and went to my look settings, here's your LUTs. You could import your own LUT into it, or I give you two LUTs to work with. 
there's a standard 709 LUT, and then there's this film one that we talked about, and you can apply those or you can load your own. So you can make your own custom look.